Welcome to another episode of SVN Sailing. As some of you may know, SVN Network is our digital magazine. SVN Sailing is our series dedicated to sailing lessons and the practical aspects of sailing. To shoot this video, we came to Marina Cala dei Sardi. Uh, this is the uh, home base in the northeast of Sardinia of NSS Charter, our host and the one who makes available the boats with which we shoot these videos. So thank you, NSS Charter. Today, what we want to do is talk about five tricks that we have learned that will make your life on the boat easier. And we uh, act, found them interesting and we hope you do too. So without further ado, let's go to the first trick. We are in front of the beach of uh, Rena Bianca, white sand in Italian, just outside uh, Marina Calle dei Sardi. With me is Simona Pasqua. Hi, Gabriele. Ciao, Simona. Uh, Simona Pasqua is a skipper with NSS Charter. Right. And she has been us with us with, uh, on several videos, right. helping us sailing the boat, but also with the videos themselves. So thanks, uh, Simona. Are you ready for our first trick? Yes, I am. Okay. This is a trick we use when we have a situation in which the wind is coming from one direction and the waves are coming from another direction. This is not exactly the case, they're almost the same direction, but we are still can, will be able to show you what we do in that situation. Of course, what happens in that case is that uh, uh, bows of the boat will be facing the wind, waves coming from the side and the boat will start rolling. So it'll be very uncomfortable and difficult to work in our case, uh, and in your case, perhaps difficult to enjoy your a meal or even staying, simply staying on the boat. So what we want to do is rotate the boat until it's facing the waves. Waves, right? Yeah. Okay. First thing we need. We need a long line that is going to go from the bow to the stern. Yes. So about twice the length of the boat, so we yeah. can haul it in after. Okay. And what we are going to do is the first thing is we have to pass uh, this loop. Uh, outside the boat uh, and uh, through uh, the uh, bowsprit platform and back so we can attach it to the chain of the anchor. Uh, so to do this we're going to use a boat hook and I'm going to try not to fall in the water but simply just placing the loop in front of Simona and she will be trying to hook it and pull it in. Okay so the next step is attaching the line to the chain. And Simona will be doing that with, uh, which knot will you be using? A nodo parlato. Okay, a uh, clove hitch. And you'll be able to see it in our video. What we have to do is take the line, uh, pass it outside the shrouds, all the way to the stern of the boat, around the cleat and on a winch. And then we will be able to start our maneuver. You ready, Simona? So, can you take this line to the stern and I will be working the chain. One thing to remember is that um, what happens basically is not that the, we are really pulling the, the bow but we are pulling the stern. That is when we haul in the line uh, it will pull on the chain and pull the stern sideways and this will make the boat rotate. So it's important that we start when we have a little bit of wind on this side, that will help us out. So I'm going to start lowering the rod and Simona will recover the line. Simona, are you ready? Ready. Okay, go. And as you can see, the boat is rotating. What we want to do is rotate until we are facing the waves and this way we can work uh, comfortably, we can shoot our videos, or in your case, you can enjoy your dish of spaghetti. Having said this, let's move on to point number two. The trick we want to talk about now is a trick we actually learned from Simona when we were shooting a video in the Olean Islands and it has to do with the noise of the line against the cleat, that squeaking noise that often keeps you awake at night. What can we do to uh, solve this problem, Simona? 
One thing is going to be using the newest line that we have got on board right. because they are going to make, of course, less noise than yes. an old ones. Yes, new lines make less noise, but say we charter a boat, maybe we don't get to pick the lines. What yeah. else can we do? In that case, we can use any cotton cloth, like a tea towel, for example, would be perfect, and we put the cloth between the cleat and the line, like this. This way, the line is not going to touch the cleat and the noise will be much, much less. Perfect. Done. Great. So a very easy trick and one that ensures that we can spend a nice quiet night. Off to the next trick. The trick we want to talk about now is how to find out the cruising speed of a boat. Uh, it's a very simple trick and you're wondering why should I find out? I already know my boat the cruising speed is X. But maybe it's not your boat. Maybe you, you chartered a boat and you don't know and they forgot to tell you. So how, what do we do in that case? In that case we just take the boat for a few seconds to full speed so reaching the maximum of uh, RPM exactly then whatever they are you just reduce 20% okay. and that is going to be our cruising speed. Okay and does that work on all boats? Uh, it doesn't work on all one because for the boats that are older, previous, the, no, the 90s, those one had different materials, so it's not going to be enough 20%, but taking allowance 30% at 30 least. 30% play it safe. Very yeah. simple trick. Let's move on to the next one. Last summer we were shooting a sailing direction video in the Olin Islands. I was there with our, our troop, our director Maurizio Anzilotti, and with Simona Pasqua. We used a lot of mooring fields. It was summer, and it was a very convenient way to uh, anchor our boat. But one night we had a problem. The wind dropped completely, the buoy came against the side of the boat and started banging into it. Our director was sleeping in the front cabin and he wasn't happy. But Simona came up with a trick. Can you explain this trick for us? Yeah. What I did in that case was I pulled the buoy out of the water, so in this way it's already attached to the boat and it cannot bang against it. Right. Now it's February, there are no mooring fields, but we simulated a buoy with this large ball fender to which now the boat is attached. As you can see, all Simona has to do is haul in the line until the buoy is out of the water and then she's going to just uh, secure the line to the cleat. Uh, Simona, is it always possible to do this trick? No, not always. Uh, it depends on the buoy you have, because sometimes the line to which it is attached... It's very short. Yes, it is. So, so in that can... case, you cannot pull it. Okay, but in many other cases it is possible. Yes. Yes, and really it can make the difference and offer you a sound uh, sleep. Having said that, off to the next trick. Okay, the next trick we want to show you, which is actually the last trick, is how to moor the boat using this. We have a loop with a piece of rubber, and you can see I've used a little bit of tape to make sure it doesn't come off uh, the boat hook. Okay, I'm talking at the same time I'm trying to maneuver. What is important is, is that we stop the boat with the stern, or anyways the part where you're standing, next to the bollard. And we're not going to use the line to stop the boat. We're going to use it just to secure the boat once we have stopped the boat using the engine. Okay, we're coming in very slowly. This is of course something you don't want to do when there's a lot of wind. When with a lot of wind, you're going to need help. So I'm going to reverse now. And now I've stopped the boat. As you can see, the bollard is a bit far away, but still close enough. Now go forward. The boat is basically stopped. Of course, I only recommend doing this if there is not a lot of wind, 
because when there's a lot of wind, you're probably going to need help. This was the last trick. Thank you very much. So we are done now. We hope you enjoyed these tricks and that maybe you'll find some of them useful. If you did, click on like, let us know and encourage us to do more videos like this one. Also, click on the link in the description and subscribe to our digital magazine. You receive our free digital magazine SVN Network and as well uh, our special uh, articles on technical issues. Uh, that's about it, but before I go, uh, I want to thank NSS Charter. They are the ones that made this video possible. So thank you, NSS Charter. That's about it. I'll see you on the next uh, video. This is SVN. I'm Gabriel Poole. We'll be right